When God gave us the Torah, He gave it to us in a precise manner, exactly the way He wanted it. 613 commandments, no more and no less. And so the Torah in this week's par parasha says, don't add to the Torah and don't detract from the Torah. Which one is worse, adding or detracting? We would say that detracting is worse than adding. But yet the Torah's order is, don't add and then don't detract. Why in that specific order? Well, here we have an insight into the ways that the Yetzirah, the evil inclination, works inside of us. Its first step is to convince us to take on more. But the problem is, it convinces us to take on more than we can handle. It convinces us to bite more than we can swallow. We take two big steps. We commit ourselves to things that we aren't really ready for. And then it knows that over some time, we would start to fall apart. We would start to wobble. We would start to drop the ball. And then we would start to feel bad about ourselves, eventually causing us to detract and to stop everything and to fall lower than we were even before we started this journey. And so the Torah says, don't add, don't listen to the Yetzirah. Don't be fooled by the evil inclination because eventually it will cause you to detract. When it comes to growing in Judaism, when it comes to becoming a better person, the way to do it is to add, but one small step at a time, to commit ourselves to things that we can handle, to commit ourselves to changes and improvements that we can adopt and can become part of us. And if we do it in that manner, if we commit ourselves to things that we are able to handle one small step at a time, we'd find that we become better people and not be vulnerable to the tactics of the Yetzirah, the evil inclination. Shabbat Shalom.